So the first topic that we have is states of matter. States of matter simply means, first of all, we need to know what matter is and what states it in. I mean, it's in the topic, right? What is matter? Matter is pretty much anything that you will interact with in your life. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. These are two important things. And these are two things that make matter what it is. It occupies space, which means it has volume. So space means volume. And mass means it has some, it, if you put it in gravitational field, it will have some weight. But even without that, it has some mass that you can quantify. So both of these things are related to measurements. You can measure volume, you can measure mass, you can calculate volume, you can calculate the effects of mass. Okay, so that's the first thing that matter exists in this. But the interesting part is that matter has mass regardless of what state it is in. So it does not matter what state it is in, uska mass wohi rega. So mass is something that is conserved. Conservation means it does not change when the state changes. But volume changes. And that is the primary difference between different states. Now, there are five basic states of matter. But we will only focus on three. Solid, liquid, and gas. And we'll try to see what is difference. How do we basically differentiate between them? So there's solid, liquid, and gas. Now, when it comes to the shape, solid has a fixed shape. Gas and liquid don't. When it comes to fixed volume, because of that shape, Solid has a fixed volume, liquid has a fixed volume, gas does not. Then the next thing we have is compressibility. Can you compress that thing? Can you apply some force? Or usko tode bagayar, aap usko thodi space mein leke aa sakte ho? Solid mein nahi kar sakte aap. Liquid mein bhi nahi kar sakte. You cannot compress liquid. In fact, all the hydraulics, they work because of this. So aap ki gaadi ki hydraulic brakes, jo car jacks hote hain, all of that works because liquids cannot be compressed. So, when you put one force on one side, the pressure is created and the pressure is transferred to the other side. That's how hydraulics work. If liquids are compressed, then the hydraulics can't do it. And gases, we can compress them. We can apply force and they fit in less space. Then, fluidity. Does the thing flow? Flow simply means that does it expand without breaking down? Solids don't. Liquids do. Gases do. And lastly, density. Which is basically how much mass you have in how much volume. How cramped or how heavy does that thing feel? So solids have high density. Gases have low density. Liquid is in the middle. So this goes from high to low, yeah, low to high in that order, so that you density more density. Now here's what I want you to see. For a moment, ignore the liquid. What do you see? Look at it. Like they're opposite to each other. Opposites, so exactly. They're exact opposites of each other. Solid or gas, the difference is that the solid is the one that gas not That's the main thing. If you know this state of matter, you know exactly how this state of matter behaves. Or liquid is always in the middle. It has some properties of one and some properties of the other. Just excuse me a minute. Yeah, so solid and liquid, liquid is in the middle and solid and gas are opposites of each other. So if you understand gas, it's very easy to take that knowledge and Put that on solid and liquid. 